This video ain't your normal YouTube guide where some guy tells you to divide your food up into some small boxes and categories. Lame. There's no paid advertising in this video or some dumb game you have to download or something I want you to buy. This is my opinion and something that will help you guys out there to build some attractive buddies. So if you want to learn how to grow muscle fast, let's jump into the video. I started weightlifting a year ago. It was at this time some people like Andrew Tate, David Goggins and other people started to pop off. And I know one year in the gym isn't that much. But even though I have only trained one year, I have made some serious changes and I want to help you guys out there to make some good changes as well like me. I'm going to guess that most people out there are teenagers like myself or in their 20s or 30s. You guys out there probably think that an attractive body gives you more girls, more money and more status. Yes, to some degree but not entirely. Yes, you can get some more girls and you can definitely get some discipline by going to the gym which can help you make some more money. And you can also get the status from making money and having a great body and having a lot of girls. But a status comes also from other factors in life. But a great body is a step in the right direction. But you also need some things like good style, great grooming and a good personality but that isn't what we are going to talk about in this video. If you want to learn these things, check out my other videos to learn to upgrade yourself. I'm a 16 year old teenager so join my journey. But let's be honest, if you're a jack nerd or jack idiot, it still helps to have an attractive body to get some girls. But how do you get an attractive body and grow some big muscles? Progressive overload is a gradual increase of stress placed upon your body when training. So this means that you have to do something better every time you hit the gym, meaning more reps, meaning more weight, or even getting better form on your exercises. So the typical guide is to lift really heavy two or three times a week. People who say these things have probably never gone to the gym, and you're not one of those, right? You need to train some specific muscle groups to grow that V-shape or Greek body that you want. First, we have abs. The abdominal muscle is what many women think is the most attractive body part on a man. Also, if you want to look like the Greek guards, you have to have ripped abs. I just want to say, I don't have abs right now. That's because I'm on the bull right now. Fine, I haven't been training for that long of a period, but uh, I'm going to make a video on that shortly about my bulk. And don't just cut after this video just because you want to have those abs. You don't want to look like your skinny TikTok guy. You actually want to train your abs like any other muscle. Remember, you want to train the lower two abs a lot because the four upper abs is going to show a lot more than the lower two. Second, the shoulders. So my tip here is just to spam those lateral raises. This muscle group is what makes you look wider, look more masculine and just makes your clothes fit better. And this is what gives you the V-shape, because if your shoulders are big, it makes your waist look slimmer. Now the third muscle group is the neck. So I'm going to ask you what body part is always visible when you're wearing clothing. Exactly, the neck. The neck is always visible and most guys aren't actually training the neck. Your neck makes you look more masculine and look less like oh, Timmy from kindergarten. No. Don't be like your average student gym with skinny legs and a skinny neck. Something that I say is, skinny neck and skinny legs ain't going to make the woman big. Now we are going to talk about the arms, also including the forearms. The arms are just something that shows discipline, hard work and dedication. The arms are something that is always showing like the neck. So when you make progress in the arms, that is something people will notice and will just look better in clothing. And the forearms is just a cherry on top. And if they aren't trained right, it will look weird. And lastly, the back, chest and legs. Chest and legs aren't as important as back, but if you have a full chest, it's something that women like to lay on. And the legs is just something that shows discipline, and it ain't just guys who like a thick ass. Girls typically don't say, wow, you have such amazing legs, I think you're so hot. No, that doesn't happen. The back is very important because it helps like the shoulders to give you that V-shape. I don't support cutting things into small boxes and making 7 boxes a week with broccoli, chicken and rice. Nobody wants that. But I have to say this to you guys out there. If you want an attractive body, you can eat McDonald's every day. Here I'm going to talk about the things you should and shouldn't eat, but I know it can be hard to find the right things. Therefore, I want to give you guys out there the secret to building an attractive body while still enjoying your life. I want you guys to lean bulk. Meaning that you focus on putting a lot of muscle on with as little as fat gain as possible. While staying in a slightly calorie surplus. If you're gaining your proteins and training hard in the gym and you're probably also new to your gym like me, you will see change fast. I promise you that. Remember to live life, but don't just eat shit food. If you just put the work in at the gym and don't eat that much processed food, you're good. If you want to remember these things to talk about in this video and you think this video would help you in the future, save it to watch later and you can just rewatch it and update your memory. Sleep is very important if you want to build muscle. Sleep is one of the most important things in life. I don't say you have to be lazy and lay in bed all day, but you need to get 8 to 10 hours of sleep every day. 
And if you don't really care about building muscle fast and want to spend your time on maybe your businesses, then six hours is also fine. But if you want the best results, eight to 10 hours of sleep is what you should aim for. Then some supplements to take. I think that you should buy cheap supplements. You don't need to go for a brand name because a fitness YouTuber said that it's better. Go for a cheaper option that works good as well. I think you should, if you are serious about the gym, take creatine. If you aren't getting as much protein as you should, you should take protein powder as well. All these dudes saying you should take vitamins and that stuff shouldn't be essential for you. If you are eating the right food, you should get your vitamins and minerals. But if you live in a country like Denmark and the sun doesn't shine that much, taking some vitamin D can be helpful, but for the most part, you should just eat the food that contains the vitamins you need and go outside to get some vitamin D. The killer of all gym rats, cardio. If you want to stay lean and just cut, cardio is great. It is also very healthy for you. So I would consider doing it just for the health, but it doesn't give you an attractive body. Plus, if you're just fat and don't have any muscle and you just want to lose a little bit of fat because you can't walk without being out of breath, then cardio is a good thing for being more attractive. But thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you all.